Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, the Rama, and in today's video, I will be showing you the best money method in Grand Theft Auto Online. This is not an opinion, it's a fact. What I'm going to be showcasing to you today is something I've talked about a few times on the channel before, but the videos don't really seem to do all too well, so I just talk about it every couple months. This method is very simple. It is allowing you to do back-to-back Cayo -back Perico heists as a solo player on any platform without glitching or cheating the game. So you cannot get banned for this. It is just one of the most efficient ways of making money. You can earn upwards of $2 million every hour performing this method, which is absolutely insane when you think about it. So obviously, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. You see, my previous money guide that I broke into, which I posted just a couple weeks ago, was a pretty simple one. The money guide was more based on the fact of you do the Kayaprico heist, and then you make your way over to the agency, and after you finish the Dr. Dre VIP contract, you would then sell your passive businesses. Then you rinse and repeat. This is a method that a lot of YouTubers have talked about. I'm pretty sure even TGG has talked about it. But the method I'll be talking about today is one that I have invented myself. It's one that I've talked about a lot. And you're going to understand why it is so good. So what will you need to make this method work? Well, it's very simple. You're going to need $2.2 million of cash. That's it. The reason why is you need to own a Kosatka. And you might say, well, I already own one. Well, you're still going to need that $2.2 million as you're going to be buying two Kosatkas. What do I mean by that? Well, if you go to the pause menu in your game, you go to online, you will see that there is the option swap character. Swapping your character will allow you to hop to a secondary account that you are allowed to have. So obviously my main account, which is level 200 and whatever, has a Kosatka, it has every business in the game set up. It's my Broke to Millions account. However, my secondary character is a level 25, Poobder. And this character does not have nearly the same properties or really anything that obviously my main character has. And this is where the money method begins. You see, using your secondary character, you are able to purchase another Kosatka. And doing this is obviously going to allow you to earn an insane amount of money because of the fact that you are going to literally do back-to-back -back Kaioprico Heist. So you're going to do it once on your main account, and then you're going to swap over to your secondary character, and you're going to do it all once again. And you might say, well, why would I do that? It's not like the accounts share money. wrong -o. Actually, the accounts do share money. You can see that I have $51 million uh, dollars in my account, and when we swap over to my main, you will see that my bank account has the exact same amount of money. So, as you can see, we can hop onto the planning screen on this account, and it will let me start up the Kayaprico heist. I have my setup already done, you know, I've got, I've got to do some equipment and get the long fit and everything, but the point being, we have a Kayaprico heist set up on my secondary account. And if we now make our way back over to swap character, and you can see I'm doing no cuts in the video. This is all live. I got my Xbox remote right here as I'm doing it. So if we swap back over to my main character, and we hop over to my Kosatka on my main character, you're going to notice that I can start up an entirely new heist. And you're going to notice that we have the exact same amount of money in the bank account. If you think I went to the efforts of faking the amount of money in my bank by getting it down to the exact dollar, I don't know what to tell you, bro. I, I actually don't know what to tell you. But as you can see, we're obviously loading once again into a new lobby and does take a little bit of time, which can be a bit unfortunate, but usually it's only like 30, 40 seconds or so to swap at, into a new account. So we'll see if that does work. Come on, load me in. There you go, pretty easy stuff. So we're going back into our Kosatka and Let's take a look at my bank balance first. So you can see that accounts do share the same amount. There you go. $51,878,633. If you go back, you will see that the that is the exact same amount that I had in my secondary character. So if you own a Kosatka or you have some sort of way of making a lot of money on your, your character that you have currently, earn $2.2 million and then swap to your secondary character. 
purchase a Kosatka, and I would also highly recommend to get your hands on a Sparrow. I mean, the Sparrow is one of the most efficient ways of making money in the game. You don't need to drop 10 plus million to get an Oppressor Mark II. I grind using the Sparrow on all of my videos, and not only that, but literally just yesterday, I posted a video on the Cayo Preco heist and how you are able to complete it in less than 45 minutes. And I even made some mistakes there, but it's just a great example of how easily you can use the Sparrow way faster than you can use something like the Oppressor Mark II. So look at this. Just like that, I've now started the setup on the Cayo Preco heist when it comes to my uh, my main account here. So as we can see, you can have two separate heists going on at the exact same time. I think you can already understand why this is huge. Normally, after completing the Cayo Preco heist, you are going to be sitting at a very long cooldown. You're going to be sitting at a two hour cooldown to be exact. But if you're smart and you have a Kosatka on your secondary character, it means that you no longer have to worry about that cooldown because you can go from the main account, which you now have a two hour cooldown on, and instantly start up the heist on your secondary account. And this is going to allow you to do two back-to-back -back heists. Now you still will have to wait a short amount of time on the cooldown. As I said, on average, it takes you about eh, 45 minutes to do the heist if you're a fairly experienced player and you follow my guides, which I would highly recommend to watch. 45 minutes start to finish to do the heist and all the setups. So if you do the first one and then you do the second one, it's gonna take you about an hour and a half to two hours, we'll say, to do the heist. So what that means is you're going to have around 10 to 20, maybe even 30 minutes of downtime, depending on how fast you are, before Pavel contacts you to start up the heist again. But this is perfect, because we also have passive businesses. And you have to remember that passive businesses are yet again another way of earning a crap ton of money in the background. By far, the best passive business to use, especially if you're going to do this method, is Special Cargo. And the reason why is actually pretty cool and unique. When you send Lupe's assistants to go and source you cargo, like I have just now, even if you log off of the game for 48 minutes and you come back, once that 48 minute timer is hit, there will be new cargo inside of your warehouse. This is huge because it means that when you are doing the Cayo Perico heist on, let's say, your secondary character, you will still be earning money on the account because it will, after 48 minutes, deposit crates on your main character. And what's even crazier is if you then decide to purchase special cargo warehouses on your secondary character, you can have two separate sources going on at the same time. That means you could be earning upwards of $300,000 an hour just from special cargo if you are using two separate characters, which is absolutely huge when you think about it. When it comes to the other businesses, it's normal as it is. Call Mutt on the phone. Mutt is obviously one of the best ways to use the Acid Lab. You literally just scroll through your contacts until you find him. And then once Mutt picks up, all you need to do is request to buy some supplies. You can see mine is obviously full right now, but it is so easy to call Mutt, order some supplies. And that's the exact same thing for the bunker. You can head over to the arcade. In fact, heading over to the arcade is literally the simplest thing ever. If you just go to preferences and you scroll until you find the arcade inside of the spawn locations, you're gonna be able to teleport there in literally just a moment of a holy, a lot of scrolling, bro. It was the one right next to the Kosatka, but the to the left, not to the right. Either way, loading into a new lobby, especially an invite only like I'm doing right now, allows me to load into my arcade literally in 20 seconds. And once you are inside of your arcade, it's gonna spawn you right in the basement where the bed is. And then you can literally run over to the terminal command center. I would highly recommend to buy uh, this control center because it allows you to access all of your businesses. So we can see that I have my nightclub here. I have my gun running supplies. I have my Coke. Obviously I don't really care too much about the Coke lockup, but definitely something like gun running. It's very easy to just buy some supplies before you plan on doing the Kaya Frico heist and resupply your nightclub and do everything there. It's just a very easy way to get everything done. So. The method is very basic. You do a Kayo Preco heist on your main character, then you do it on your secondary character. Then you are going to swap back to your main account, sell your passive businesses. If you save up enough money, as I mentioned, you can then purchase those same passive businesses on your secondary character, having literally double the income 
it's just insane how much money you can actually make using this method. It will earn you upwards of $2 million an hour if you're doing everything right. And yes, I know people are going to type in the comments, oh, well, I don't really like the Kayaprico Heist that much. It's not that exciting. And that's fully your choice. I'm not forcing you, nor am I telling you that you have to do this to earn money. But if you are trying to get the most money per hour in the game, the easiest way possible without glitching as a solo player on any platform, this is by far the best way to go. And that's as simple as it is. I don't think there are any ways faster to earn money without glitching the game like using the Kayaprico replay glitch. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, if you enjoy this type of content and you'd like to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below as it obviously helps out the channel and you will see more in-depth guides like this breaking into methods that you probably didn't even know about. So I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.